Hello and welcome Libra to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. So let's take a look at your first card here I and mean, it is about unexpected visitors. So first of all, you may have a visitor coming to your home, you maybe family or maybe a friend coming to visit. Um, this might be someone from your past as well, unexpected. Okay, someone from your past, an unexpected uh, contact or something like this um, that is possible. So someone's going to reach out to you or someone's going to pop by your home. There is going to be an unexpected element over the next couple of weeks and it is uh, someone from your past perhaps that is likely. But just stay open and uh, to who this is and what this could be in your circumstance. Um, it, they could bring some interesting information. Metamorphosis. I feel that there's been such a big change from where you have been in the past, from when you knew this person. I feel that things have changed quite dramatically um, from where you were to where you are now. And I feel that um, this person is not really going to recognize you. I feel that they don't, they won't be able to maybe communicate with you in the way that they could in the past because you have changed, because um, you've, you've gone through this major change, this metamorphosis, um, this transformation. And so it looks like that, yes, there's there's that dynamic going to be happening with this unexpected visitor or person from your past. This card can also resonate in terms of um, big changes happening in an area of your life at the moment over the next couple of weeks. And it might resonate like that for you. There might be a major change that is on the horizon and there's going to be a big transformation. Endings and new beginnings are often indicated with this card. So let's take a look at this deck now and we'll see what spirit has to bring through. Guidance for Libra, please. We have the beautiful card of love. So this is always a welcome sign. It does mean that there is a love in your heart that you're going to really start to feel it. So self-love, self-care comes into play, but also sharing this love with others can be a wonderful sign for romance as well, if that is what is needed in your life or wanted. Love is the propellant that fuels our lives, the emotion that makes the world go round, tough but gentle, full of creative fun and an absolute feel-good factor. Choose it and use it. So you can choose this energy, you can choose to tap into this energy of love and abundance if you want to this week or over the next couple of weeks. Maybe this is how you find your way forward. When the mists come down and you can't see far ahead, just stay focused on where you want to be rather than how you get, you'll get there and you will get there. So uh, yes, finding your way, just stay focused on where you want to be and not so much about how you're going to get there. So there is a surrendering that is happening here, a surrendering to spirit, to God. Um, and you'll be amazed, Libra, at the life-changing miracle that will land at your door if you do this. So this is how you find your way forward. Beautiful, powerful energy. Guidance for Libra, please, spirit. Okay, this one here, co-create. Okay, so you're wanting to create something new in your life. You certainly have the energies to create a solid platform for yourself. It does look like uh, the time is coming soon where you'll want to take a leap of faith or you want to get on solid ground with something or someone in your life and you want to co-create with the universe um, to bring this manifestation into your life. Uh, so that's very possible over the next couple of weeks, some kind of uh, manifestation and co-creation. Now we have the question here, why? So you could be asking a lot of questions of something or someone um, that does often um, mean that when this card comes up. So you could definitely be asking someone a lot of questions. 
You might be learning as well, learning and education. We do have the book here. So you're asking why, you're asking questions so you can gain knowledge. Um, also, if you have a, something you're wanting to co-create, something you're wanting to manifest in your life, like the magician that you are, always question it. Always question why. Um, because it might have, there might be some kind of reveal here for you if you ask that question. Why do you want this to happen in your life? What is really at the core or the heart of it? Okay. We have this card here, which is the peacock spirit and this one here. So, of course, the peacock spirit is all about the beautiful vibrancy of letting your light shine, letting your love shine into the world from the, your beautiful heart. Um, being proud of your accomplishments and achievements and not being afraid to put your best foot forward and having confidence is what I'm seeing there. And the wombat spirit is about being at home. Perhaps you're going to be at home a little bit more over the next couple of weeks. Maybe there is, um, there is going to be a need for this or a desire or a want for this. Maybe there is a change in circumstance or a metamorphosis when it comes to your home environment um, where you're living. You might be purchasing a new property. There might be something um, transformational happening with the people that you're living with or your family or um, property or your home. Guidance for Libra, please, spirits. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Libra. Giving and receiving, making sure that the energy that you're giving out in a circumstance is matched. Is it coming back towards you in an appropriate way? That's something to pay particular attention to over the next couple of weeks. You may also receive an offer or a gift. You might be receiving um, something very valuable into your life very soon. Sadness and isolation. This energy, um, you'll know if it's around you at the moment. And if it is, know that you're going to be uh, coming out of this energy, um, feeling this sadness, isolation, and you're kind of reaching up and you're reaching beyond these energies. So there's an expansion with the three that I like. Um, there might be a circumstance over the next couple of weeks that happen. Someone might say something cutting to you. There, the energy might be cut off from you um, and it might, uh, there might be some reaction here that happens. Know that uh, you're going to overcome. This is a card of overcoming. And we do have the connection of love here supporting you, universal love supporting you um, through this uh, sadness or isolation or whatever this actually is for you, the circumstances around it. Now we do have the heart chakra here. So if you are working with chakras over the next couple of weeks, the heart chakra is one to pay particular attention to. Uh, there does seem to be something happening here with your heart to do with love. There's a metamorphosis. There is sadness and isolation. Um, there's something about giving or receiving uh, connected to your heart. And the third eye chakra is here as well. So yes, third eye chakra is about your intuition, your psychic vision. You may be a psychic. You may be having clairvoyant visions or dreams. Dream journaling will definitely be important over the next couple of weeks. But there's definitely something uh, something psychically is going to come to you. There's going to be an insight. Your third eye will be activated. Choose your battles wisely. Uh, you don't want to go up against someone that you're not going to win against. Um, it might be a futile attempt. They might just be taking your energy and there might not be anything in return. So choose your battles wisely over the next couple of weeks. Now, fear might be holding you back because we have the card of darkest fears. So mentally, you have to be aware of what thoughts are going around in your mind. Um, there could be something negative going on in terms of lack of confidence here. You've got some fear around showing your true colors or someone showing the true colors to you. Letting your um, your brightness shine through is important. Don't let anyone dim your sparkle. But definitely choose your battles. 
because this might be causing some uh, conflict or some unease mentally and emotionally. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition, see if this resonates for you or not. You can trust your own instincts. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.